Hi there, today I want to show you how you can paint folds, how you can approach this. And I hope you want to paint along with me, so you can download the photo with the link in the description of the video. And you can uh, find the list of materials used as well there. I've put some colors on my palette that I think are useful for this picture. This is a kind of a crimson red color that I see, so I have added crimson red on my palette. Get me a yellow light to make these more lighter values. And a bit of titanium white, of course, maybe I'll need that. And a phthalo green to make the crimson red darker at places where it's needed. But first let me start with, here you, you see a part of an arm still. So first I'll make that color to get rid of the background, so to speak. So I'll add a slight amount of yellow and a little bit of phthalo green to tone it down. And phthalo green is a very strong pigment. So always be very careful if you, if you use it. Then you need a very tiny amount to change the other color completely. So you now see that this is a little bit of a gray color. So I'll add a little bit more of yellow to make it more towards the brown, orangey side. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, slight touch of white. Yeah, okay. And for that silver, oh, I'll add a little bit of burnt umber as well to my palette. This kind of silver is a sort of gray, of course, a little bit bluish gray. So I'll take a little bit of ultramarine blue and I'll add a slight touch of burnt umber that way you get a gray sort of color you can't see that now because it's very dark but when i add a little bit of white you'll see what i have here you see it's it's a gray color and uh, let's take a look what is it lacking i think a little bit of the crimson red can add to it so more crimson red for here and also a lighter part over here Let's take a look. Yep, okay. Now that we have those colors, let's do that first. Would be my suggestion. Oh, I see that grayish sort of, sort of color all, all here as well. So let me put that there immediately. And now that I'm at it, I just use it for here as well. So like this. And again, you see that I've uh, primed my canvas with white, of, uh, with gray gesso. So I made my gesso gray. Here I add a little bit of burnt umber to this mixture and I'll put it underneath. So for a sort of cast shadow. The, the top side of the bracelet here is, uh, is quite light and I have a dirty brush but I'll go over it again in a, at a later stage with a more neutral color. Now I wipe my brush a little bit clean and I go over to the darkest color for the arm. Here inside it is reasonably dark. I'll add a little bit more of burnt umber here in this part. So, and then over here it gets slightly lighter. I'll grab the lighter mixture, so like this. So. Let's uh, do this one again, a little bit, a little bit more brown, so like this. Let's instantly finish the bracelet by adding more of the neutral white and then add some of the phthalo green with a little bit of white here for their returns and here as well. So, and there it gets slightly darker at the edge, so I'll add a little bit more of phthalo green, like that. And now I'll add this through the mixture that I had. So a little bit of the phthalo green and the bracelet color. And I'll mix them through each other like this. 
So now it's a sort of a shiny object, but that, that, that's, that's not the main uh, source of interest in this painting. Now we get to the part that we all came for. Now when you're painting there are a lot of subjects that uh, demand a little bit of preparation. Subjects like this for instance, because you have those soft transitions between a darker color and a lighter color. And if you don't pre-mix colors on your palette, it is very difficult to make these smooth transitions, especially with acrylics. Because when you've put one color on your canvas and you start mixing the next color, the color on your canvas is already dry. So to avoid that, try to pre-mix some colors, the main colors. So we need, eh, mainly we need a very dark color for the darkest part. Then we need a slightly lighter color and then the lightest color. So let's try to make three values. And of course there are more values, but we have to simplify a little bit, of course. Because always when we're painting, we try to simplify what we see, because otherwise we'll get totally overwhelmed and crazy. And we don't, wouldn't want that, of course. So here I'm gonna make my darkest mixture, so I have my crimson red. And when we compare, we see hmm, it's not that bad for a dark color. You see, it's already, it, it, it is dark enough, but it is a little bit too vivid. So I have to mute my color a little bit. And I can do that with Taylor Green. You see, so I add that to that mixture here. See what it does. But look at that. Now we have a dark color for the darkest parts. It's good enough. Don't mind too much. You don't have to be too precise about it. At least that's not our goal in this uh, tutorial, this painting. I just want to show how you can approach it in general. So here I'll make a second mixture and I have to be careful that I make enough uh, paint. Money I wanted to say. <laughs> That's another thing. So for the more lighter parts, you see that this color is too dark. Now, there are several ways to lighten a color. The, uh, the first one, of course, is to add white, but then also I'll show you what happens if I add white. You see, it gets more pink. Another way to make a color lighter is to add yellow. Then it gets more orangey but it also gets lighter. And now I'm gonna take a look, compare it with the source color, and I see, ah, it's quite right, you see, for the more lighter parts. So I know that I'm on the right track, and then I get confident, of course, and then I'll add more of the yellow eh, to the rest of my mixture to make this color lighter. And sometimes you can also have a combination of yellow and white to make a color lighter. It, it depends a little bit on how vivid the color is that you see. So I'll compare again to see if this is sort of okay. Yes, it is quite okay. So we have a very dark variation and a lighter variation. And now I want to make the third variation the lightest parts. So here on the top of the folds. What kind of color is that? Well, it is still, it has crimson red as a base color. First, let me add a lot of yellow again to make the color light. But then we don't get quite the right color. It, it has more of a little bit of a pink feeling, those lighter tones. So I have to restore the crimson part a little bit. So here's more crimson in it. And now we're getting closer. Well, I'll have to add some white to see if we're going the right direction. Hmm, it's not that bad. Okay. So how do you like that? Three beautiful colors on the palette. It's almost too beautiful to touch. I would say just put this in the museum, but yeah, who am I? Most of the times I prefer working from dark to light, so I'll start with the darkest value and I'll grab a big brush because uh, no use in using a small brush. Here I see a slight, or da slight dark part and here I've indicated that as well in my sketch, you see. Uh, 
Oh yeah, one thing uh, you see uh, right away that crimson is a transparent pigment. So you'll see the background shine through a little bit. And that's no problem because you can paint over it a second time of course. Don't be dis so, but don't be disappointed if it isn't exactly right the first time right away. So that's, that's normal. And now we get over to this uh, fold. Well, I'll do it like this. Here I make it slightly dark. And so this part. Here in between it's slightly lighter. So just make that uh, division of tonal values for yourself. Which parts are the darkest parts? Which parts are the lightest parts? And here it gets slightly lighter, but we can do that, uh, we can add that on top of this, so that's no problem. Now, then we get this dark part here. Uh, is it as dark here as well? Yes, it is quite dark. So you see, I just add it like this. You can paint a little bit in the direction that you see if you like, but you can also do it like this. Then we have a slightly lighter fold here, but here it gets very, very dark. No, just do it like this. So. So, this looks very, very weird, then it is good. I'll just wipe my brush slightly clean, like this, then I go over to the next value. We're gonna use that a lot, because you see, the only thing that I need to do now is to save the lightest parts. And that's the only remaining value that I have. You see, and now, right now it isn't working quite that good. Uh, uh, you don't see much of a difference between the, those tonal values because, the because of the fact that the crimson is a very transparent color. So, in the second layer it all will become much clearer. So here also, uh, so a slightly lighter part, I just wipe it at the side of this uh, collar, so, and I, s I save this line to make that lighter later on with the lightest value. Here as well, like this. So, so here it's all all of the time it's this value. Oops, I almost took the darkest value. So, whoop, just paint it in. But you see, now that you've planned these colors on your palette, you just can enjoy painting. You can easily focus on painting. You don't have to think about mixing while you're painting now. You're just putting on the colors on your canvas. You've done a great preparation that makes painting more fun. Um, if I can, let's see here. So like this here, all this lighter value. But again, you don't see the differences that good yet. They will become visible in the next layer. That's something you learn with acrylics and with oils as well. Some, some pigments are transparent and some pigments aren't. And if you work, yeah, I, I don't know a pigment that has this kind of uh, color bias that is opaque. So you have to deal with that and, uh, well, it's no problem. Just add a second layer. So now I wipe my brush clean again and I go over to the lightest color that we have and that is this one. 
then again I go over to this side you see there we go just put it next to it we can be more precise in the next layer this is just the first layer is always a sort of a, again a sort of sketch a sort of colors color sketch it's a base layer to work on later on also always watch out in, at this stage because you're frustrated because it looks ugly this is what we call the ugly stage in painting you always get that stage so as well keep on going with painting you see this looks ugly but we will we, we'll be getting there this is just the first layer don't throw away your painting already you can do that always afterwards there's no problem at all but at this stage you cannot see if it is going to work and just deal with that that it looks ugly that's normal completely normal meanwhile I hope that this is already a little bit dry and it is so I can start with my second layer of my darkest color so now we can start making it stand out a little bit more see what it does this time it's gonna work I wipe my brush a little bit clean now I'm going to work in parts so now I'll get that lighter value and I'll put that quickly next to the value that I did right now so and here as well because now I can blend them easily together because that darker one is still wet maybe I should have waited slightly longer before I started to do this now I get to the lightest color again and I'll add it next to it again like this and now I want to transition it so I grab that light color and the slightly darker color I mix them together in my brush and now I just wipe them together on the canvas so like this and here I've put in too much of the lighter variation so I can correct that with the value that's on my palette you see that's the the, the 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 importance of those values on your palette but now I uh, this wasn't dry enough as you see it is still not that good so I just wait a little bit okay there we go now it's dry so then we go over to the next one and now we see if we take a closer look it isn't that dark as this one but I have a dark color here and I have a lighter color here if I mix them together then I get a value in between those two and that's maybe what I can use here you see so now I'll add that one so it is slightly lighter than this dark color and now we can add the lighter variation this one so like this put it next to it so and then at the in the end you can blend them a little bit then we go over to the more lighter color and I'll put it over here and I'll grab a little bit of that mixture and I'll make a value that lies in between again so I can add that here on top what have I done here ah here I messed up a little bit here it has to be more like this way and then here we get a value that's a little bit darker like that and then here it becomes light so I'll add that light variation here that's more like it isn't it so here it gets a little bit darker well 
just add this one again but the darkest part is over here you see so like that um, then we connect this this part with this part so I'll mix the two colors uh, together to make that in between value so to speak for here like that so let me add the darkest part here again so here it is very dark so like this so here is more of a form like that and here it gets slightly lighter again so this is obviously the darkest part of the whole area so then quickly we go over to the lighter part I keep my brush with the dark paint on it and I'll add it to a little part of that next mixture so that now I can easily put that next to the previous value and wipe it past it like this and then as I said here it's still dark but it gets slightly lighter so that mixture that I made here I can use here now but here still it gets way more light so now I'll add gradually add more of this value as a whole so like this then I'll do the same this same mixture the in between mixture I'll add on top of the fold to make it bend away to the light And then we go to the lightest part. Add that first next to the previous uh, color. So like that here it gets a little bit smaller. Here get, it gets slightly darker. That lighter part gets slightly darker over here. So let's restore this. Oops. Here my lightest part is a little bit too wide, so I'll add more of the, to make it more narrow, I add more of the previous tonal value, like that. There you go. Then I mix this one and the lighter one together, and I just start blending these two together at the edge. Oops, like that. Uh, then we get to the part there in between. I grab this color again. There we go. Just keep on painting. Here it gets slightly lighter, so I'll add more of that lighter value here. So, like this. Yep, okay. Then I go over to this part. Again, I do the darkest part first. I prefer to do that. I'll just add the paint and we'll manipulate it later on. And now that I'm at it, I'm gonna do this right away as well. So, like that. I wipe the brush clean and go over to the lighter value again. To put that next to the dark value. There we go. So there we go, all the way down over here. Then I'll mix some of the dark color through this one again and I'll make the transition there where needed. So here we need less of a transition but here slightly more. And as well some transitional color here, it's slightly lighter so I'll just 
mix those two values together and then I'll start mixing them here. I'll put it uh, there on the canvas at the right spot. Here we do a slightly darker in-between value I put in between <laughs> here. Here it's still not covering that well. There we go. That's more like it. Then we have this. Here it gets lighter. So, so you can easily play with the paint when you have pre-mixed these colors. I just keep on going with the darkest, dark uh, things first. Then we go over. Then it f bends around the edge, so it gets slightly dark, uh, lighter. Again, here like this. Then we get that second value. Again, so, and then we get this part. Oh, I should have done this first as well. Here it gets a little bit lighter. So they're in between. And then we get to this uh, slightly lighter part. So I'll mix this one and this one. There we go. And then we get the lightest parts again. So I should also say, oh, oops, dirty brush. I should also say that this is gets a little bit darker there. It's more like this kind of shape. Yeah, okay. And then it gets lighter. So over here we go. Here maybe I've done it a little bit too light. So I will... Uh, adjust that so uh, I'll adjust that shortly so now we get that fold like this here I made a little mistake make this a little bit more like this okay so here on top here it gets slightly darker Here as well, the transition is a little bit like that, okay. Okay, uh, then what do we have here? The lightest part over here, of course. So there you go. And then again, a transitional value between those, between those two. Like th this. Here also as well want to make this slightly lighter still. In the end, if you think there are some parts that could be even slightly lighter, then you can do that as well, of course. Just add a little bit more of white and maybe a little bit more of yellow. And you can easily adjust the lightest parts to have a little bit extra light. But I don't think it needs that much. Maybe here slightly. I think that's enough already. But again, I will mix them through the previous layers. I'll blend that a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.